With the exciting news of God of War finally being released after five years and the everlasting excitement of what Unreal Engine 5 continues to produce as we're coming up to its one year anniversary, you might be someone who wants to finally get into game development. But that can be a daunting place to be. There's so many options and you don't know where to go, what to use or what to learn. I'm Asplund and today I'm going to be comparing and reviewing Unreal Engine and Godot Game Engine. If you know me then you know I'm an avid Unreal Engine user, but today I'll be providing my unbiased opinions and reviews supported by facts to help you make an informed decision about which game engine is best for you and your game development needs. So let's get straight into it, starting with the pros and cons of Unreal Engine. So what are the pros? Unreal Engine offers unparalleled graphical capabilities and performance. Its cutting edge features such as Nanite and Lumen create beautiful photorealistic scenes that are available to anyone. Unreal Engine also offers a visual scripting system as well as the ability to use C++. You can create your game entirely with blueprints, C++ or a mixture of both. This makes it great for first time devs and those who aren't familiar with programming or aren't strong in it. Blueprints are also made with C++ so they can be a great introduction to the general workflow. On top of this, Unreal Engine is an industry standard game engine used by top game developers and companies. Even AAA game studios such as Warner Brothers Games, the publishers of the recently released Hogwarts Legacy game. There is a large and active community of developers, users and publishers who are always up to helping others out. The community is active on the Unreal forums, YouTube with tutorials, the official Discord server, Reddit and so much more. Finally, Unreal Engine is free and has a great royalty system. You only need to pay royalties on individual games that generate over $1 million in revenue and you only have to pay 5% of any revenue in a quarter that is over $10,000 once the total $1 million threshold has been reached. That initial million dollars is also royalty free. This is a very brief summary, so make sure to thoroughly read through it yourself to understand it. But to be honest, if you're earning over a million dollars, you'll likely have an accountant to do all that for you anyway. Now, as much as I love Unreal Engine, there are of course gonna be cons for it as well. So let's cover those now. Unreal Engine can have a steep learning curve for beginners. It is a complex and powerful game engine which means there can be a steep learning curve for absolute beginners to game development. There are many tools and features available all at once which can become overwhelming pretty quickly. Unreal Engine requires powerful hardware to achieve optimal performance. If you are wanting to get the best graphics possible for your game, you may want to make sure you have a powerful enough PC to run it effectively. If you are making a simple game however, you won't need to worry too much. Compared to other game engines, the workflow of Unreal Engine can be quite code heavy, which can make it less accessible to new or non-programmers. And finally, the file size for your project can get very large very quickly. I personally had to buy a new hard drive just for my Unreal Engine projects as all of the graphics, features and tools can lead to a heavy file size. This can be overwhelming for developers with limited storage space. So in summary, Unreal Engine 5 is a powerful and comprehensive game engine that offers unparalleled graphical capabilities and performance. However, its steep learning curve and code-heavy workflow may make it less accessible to beginners and non-programmers, and its high hardware requirements crossed with file sizes may make it less suitable for indie developers or small teams with low budgets. With Unreal Engine 5 concluded, let's discuss the pros and cons of the Godot game engine. So what are the pros? Godot is lightweight and optimized for 2D and 3D game development. Godot 4 is designed to be lightweight and efficient, making it a great choice for smaller game development projects. Its optimized rendering engine allows for smooth performance even on older or less powerful hardware. Godot also offers a visual scripting system for creating complex game mechanics without needing any prior programming knowledge. Godot's visual scripting system called GD Script allows accessibility to non-programmers and can also speed up development time. Godot 4 has a user-friendly interface and easy-to-learn workflow. Its workflow is designed to be streamlined and more efficient, reducing development time and making the engine more accessible to hobbyists, indie developers and small teams. Godot 4 is also open source, meaning it is free to use and modify. This has led to many developers contributing to the development of the engine as well as creating tutorials, assets and plugins. So you've heard all the good about Godot, but what are the cons? Well, Godot is less powerful than other game engines in terms of graphics and performance. While Godot 4 is efficient, it still lags behind other game engines in terms of raw graphical power and performance. This can make it less suitable for larger or more demanding projects. The documentation is not always up to date and can be hard to understand for beginners. While the community is active, the documentation is sometimes out of date and complex, making it more challenging for beginners to get started in the engine and learn how to use it efficiently. 
The lack of an official marketplace can make finding quality assets and plugins difficult. Unlike other game engines, Godot does not have an official marketplace, making it more challenging to find high quality assets and plugins for development. The support for VR development isn't as robust as other game engines. While Godot 4 does support VR development, its support isn't up to par with other game engines, making it less suitable for VR specific projects. To summarise, Godot 4 is an excellent choice of small to medium sized game development projects that prioritise ease of use and flexibility over raw graphical power and performance. Now there are obviously lots of pros and cons for each that I haven't covered simply due to time. For example, the amazing Unreal Engine Marketplace. So definitely continue to further your research if you are looking for a game engine to get started with, as there are also more options out there such as Unity. But overall, do I think Unreal Engine or Godot is better for indie developers? While I think both Godot and Unreal Engine are excellent game engines, but they have different strengths and weaknesses. Godot is a great choice for beginners or developers who want a lightweight and easy to use engine, while Unreal Engine on the other hand is perfect for developers who need advanced graphics and rendering capabilities, and who are willing to invest the time to learn a more complex engine. A more complex engine obviously meaning you can do a lot more with it in the long run. But ultimately, the choice between these two engines comes down to your own specific needs and goals for your game development project. The pros and cons highlighted in this video can help you whittle down your own specific needs. For me, I'm going to stick with Unreal Engine 5 as for what I want to achieve it is much better suited for me. I prefer the interface, features and tools, system, graphics and performance and more. For me, Unreal Engine 5 is the winner. But with that, I thank you for watching the video, I hope it has been informative and helps you make a more informed decision about which game engine to use. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more videos like this one. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.